Hello everyone. This is my Kaisis Bractensis um, which is in full bloom. It has four buds and I wanted to do this uh, spotlight video for you to um, talk about uh, a little bit of about the care that I did for this um, beautiful orchid and I've got four buds so as you can see one two three and one at the back um, this one is the biggest one of all and it's an anomaly I think um, there's there's supposed to be two, I think, two blooms here and two of them became one. So as you can see, there's two lips and more petal than the usual, which is um, five petals. This one has, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight petals. Uh, so this beautiful orchid I've got it last year from <clears throat> Polish nursery and came with this um, with this one I think uh, yeah I think it, it came with this new new cane um, and then over the winter it didn't lose any of the leaf of this one it just lost some leaf of the uh, of this cane which was two years old I think two years ago and uh, this probably been produced um, and then this year when it was growing the new leaf new growth here which is uh, underneath this one uh, you can see underneath this bloom um, there's a new growth coming out because of the angle I can't show it properly um, but those are the buds and that's a new growth um, so buds developed at the same time as the new growth coming out and I didn't know about this fact and some people you know in my videos commented and said yeah um, they could be coming um, that the buds are gonna come with a new growth so that's what I get uh, this uh, species is um, native to uh, Mexico and um, um, from Mexico to Peruvian ants um, there are different uh, genus um, like Kaisis um, trichostata Kaisis uh, aurea, which is the um, the lovely orange one, and uh, this white one, which is Kaisis bractensis. Um, but I think they they all must have had same same kind of care. So um, what uh, you know the references say that you need to give them a winter rest. So I gave. Them, I gave it uh, a bit of a winter rest but not that much of a like very harsh winter rest I uh, stopped watering for um, I think six seven weeks and then I started gradually introducing the water like every two three weeks and then that's wha when um, the new body started to um, grow and uh, I saw my um, beautiful flowers <clears throat> so it needs a bit of a uh, winter rest but not very harsh one um, the other thing is that um, it doesn't lose um, it does lose uh, the leaf every two years so the previous two years loses uh, its leaf gradually but mine didn't lose as much as I was expecting, um, I don't know, it's happy to have uh, the leaf and the flower and as long as it's happy, I'm happy too. So, um, <clears throat> I want to talk about the re um, fragrance as well. It has a lovely fragrance 
gardenia um, uh, type of fragrance really nice um, strong fragrance it's not that strong I mean I can smell it here but uh, that low door is even more stronger I think <laughs> um, but yeah uh, I think it's different uh, in a different time of the uh, day so it becomes a bit stronger in the morning and then gets uh, less intense uh, during the night uh, so well that's it really I uh, just wanted to tell you that I left it in my south facing window uh, although they say it doesn't need very strong um, uh, sunlight but because I live in a not too sunny <laughs> country um, that's why I left it in the south facing window and it was happy to be there and the leaves um, could take take the the sun um, so I think if if you leave it too shady it might not flower that's why I heard but um, at the moment it's happy where it is but still you have to be careful if it's too much of a sunshine then you should move it um, somewhere with less um, you know brightness doesn't don't let the leaf burn um, so yeah I was gonna show you this beautiful share with you this beautiful orchid and uh, I hope you liked the uh, video it's a really big one big big plant so it's not a space saver but because it its flowers are really lovely it's worth uh, having it uh, in your collection and I do really love it I mean the canes look like a uh, catsedum family but it's not it's it's a uh, um, kaisis family and uh, the blooms are so big and flashy and with lots of lovely fragrance so I think um, it's really nice um, having it in your collection it's worth it and, and I was really happy when, it, uh, when I saw the, the buds are developing I couldn't wait to share it with you so uh, yeah that's it really and uh, if you liked the, the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't sub subscribed, please subscribe to see more updates on my orchids. Thank you very much for watching.